Alrighty. We'll just keep going. <laughs> That's fine. Hey. Hi. Um, what's up? My name's Tiffany, and you might know me as Take One for the Road on Instagram and TikTok. I've been contemplating making a YouTube channel for a few years now, so I figured I'd just do it. So I work in full-time in finance and real estate, and on the side, I create food, travel, content, and I occasionally dabble in DIY, and I like making funny videos just to entertain people. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to like and subscribe, and hopefully we can go on this YouTube journey together. Today, I gathered a few questions uh, from Instagram from my followers that wanted to know a little bit more about me. Um, and I figured we'd put a, together like a little Q&A uh, for you and also do a sushi mukbang. So I picked up this deluxe sushi and roll platter from Really Pop in Cape Town. And I've never had their sushi before and I've always wanted to try a, so I figured we could try it together. Sushi first, questions later. <laughs> This one looks good. Mmm. That's so good. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this. This is that they said this is for four to five people. And I told them I was eating this by myself. And they were kind of like, ooh. Good luck. Alright, first question. What is your advice for those who want to become a influencer? Um, okay, that's an interesting first question. Um, I think if you want to be an influencer, I think it's all about just doing it. I think I also have a tendency to just say like, I want to do something, but then I push it off. Kind of like starting this YouTube channel. But I think you should just do it. Like, if you want to be a foodie influencer, start taking pictures of the food you eat, start trying new cuisines, and then kind of just like put it out there on the internet. And then as you post consistently, you can kind of get a sense of like what your audience and your niche is looking for. You can kind of see like analyze the data of like what posts do well and what don't, and then kind of just like copy what you did before and then keep pushing out content. And I think from there, you also like kind of meet people who have similar tastes and interests as you so you can build a community and then also just like make new friends and I think that's the best way to start like any influencing whatsoever. Okay. I really want to try this roll. It's saucy. We love sauce. Mmm. This one's like creamy. Oh, there's cream cheese in it, that's why. Mm, okay. I love cheese. Do you have any cheap travel hacks? Yes, I do. So, I don't know if people know this, but a lot of times flights tend to be a little bit cheaper when you book on a Tuesday. And my favorite place to check for flights is actually called Skyscanner. I think a lot of people recommend using Google Flights, but if you go on Skyscanner, they actually show you like hidden flights that um, most flight websites wouldn't show you and that's where you can find like really cheap flights and if you're flexible and don't really need to carry like luggage, it's like the best place to find like great deals. Also, I'm curious to what everyone's favorite sushi is, so make sure to comment below what your favorite like sushi is or favorite sushi place is. Definitely like trying different sushi restaurants. Okay, what made you want to get into social media and YouTube? So I don't think I ever had like a plan to like go into social media. It kind of just happened. So I created my travel blog, Take One for the Road on Instagram in December 2015. And I used to work in public accounting, so I used to work like long hours and didn't really have much time to put into my travel blog, travel and food blog. And so I ignored it for a while and then afterwards I left for my new job and then I had a better work-life balance. So I was able to spend more time going out to eat and also just like posting more. So that was in, I wanna say like April, 2019. And then in the end of 2019 and beginning of 2020, my Instagram kind of just like blew up. 
and I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of new foodie friends and also like collaborate with really cool restaurants and um, companies and brands so now after working on my Instagram and my TikTok for the last couple of years it's allowed me to see that like I'm so passionate about social media and just like creating content for people and that's kind of how like I realized like I want to go into social media now do any of you like ginger? I actually don't like ginger, but my mom always tells me I should eat it because it's good for you. It's good for you, so I'm just going to have like a little bite here. Mm. I'm so scared I'm going to splash myself right now. Mm. How many countries have you been to and what are your favorite places so far? So I want to say I've been to about like 35, 36 countries. Um, I don't have like a specific favorite place because I think there's just so many beautiful, great, fun places in the world. But I do love Croatia. I've been there a couple times. I did like Yacht Week with my friends and I also went when I studied abroad. And I think the Netherlands has a special place in my heart. So. I studied abroad my senior year of college and I studied in a city in the Netherlands that's to our south of Amsterdam called Maastricht. So I made a lot of like cool friends there and had the best time. And I think I really loved like Switzerland because it's just like so clean and beautiful and I went parasailing there. Like way before like the whole crash landing on you series came out so that was kind of cool to see as well. I think every country is so unique and has something special to offer. Um, and so I really encourage everyone, like if you can, like go travel. Like you don't need a ton of money. Like I've definitely traveled on a budget before. It's definitely possible if you like make time to like plan out a budget. Okay, there's a lot of travel questions here. It says, how do you travel so much? I think for me, I prioritize travel, so I will make sure that. I schedule time in my super busy schedule uh, throughout the year just to like go places, just to see places, especially while I'm young and I can like handle like spirit flights where it's like not very comfortable or climb like really high up mountains with like super high altitude and just still have the energy for it. So I definitely work with like, job my manager is just to kind of like let them know like oh travel is important to me and I think I've been so like blessed that everyone's always been able to be flexible and I also like budget so I put aside a lot of the money I make um, into like a travel budget where I can use that budget to see like what countries um, I can afford to go to at the moment or just like always look for cheap flights and great travel deals um, so that I can like afford to like see a lot of places. What are some of your goals as a foodie in 2022? I think some of my goals are just to like teach myself how to make better content for my followers, things that add value into their lives and also just like be better at like learning how to like edit photos, take photos, video edit. Um, everything I've done for social media has been self-taught. Like I didn't take any courses or anything. It's all been um, trial and error. So I think for me, it's just like doing more of that and just like being proactive on and like just putting myself out there more. What if I did like chubby bunny but instead of marshmallows, I did chubby bunny sushi version. Mmm, no more. <laughs> wow, it's really. So I guess my score is two for chubby bunny sushi edition. How did the handle take one for the road come about? So when I started my Instagram, I like wanted to document food and travel. So I didn't want to just put like foodie or traveler in my username. And it was kind of hard 
coming up with something that like wasn't already taken i feel like and i wanted something unique you know and i just kept thinking about how like everywhere i go everywhere i travel everywhere i eat i always take a picture to go kind of like a takeout box like when you take like leftover chinese food home so i kind of just try to like try different variations on um instagram to see what was taken and what wasn't eventually i was able to come up with take one for the road and then i came up with the motto so that's like on my instagram where it's like i have a hearty appetite for travel and a seafood diet like seafood diet um and i can't always take it to go but i'll take one picture for the road so that's how it came about i think this is the last question do you have any funny travel stories Oh, this is like the perfect way to end my vlog. Um, yeah, I have a few funny travel stories. There's this like one time I rented an OPA in Korea, which is like a tour guide system. Uh, it's a service where you rent an OPA, so your tour guide kind of shows you around Korea, but it's really fun, it's really cute. And uh, I've also had my Lizzie McGuire Palo moment where a local kind of takes you around on his uh, scooter, which was really fun. And uh, really interesting. I have great funny memories from that and uh, I think I've oh yeah I've almost been kidnapped in Morocco which I guess is funny now um, makes for a great story but wasn't as funny back then and I've also had great funny interesting uh, memories to share from my experience in Yacht Week where you live in a yacht with like 10 of your friends in Croatia and, and then you just travel around the sea and you party so it, it, it was fantastic. It was a lot of fun and we had a lot of interesting moments together that I would love to share with you guys in my future videos. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. This whole process has been pretty nerve wracking, but yeah, I just really appreciate your support. And if you are interested in seeing more content, let me know um, what you want to see below in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok talk at take one for the road i'll see you next time bye i'm so full you only have two more just finish it